My experience with the movie Rad was uh, I was actually racing with Mongoose uh, racing team a little bit um, when I was in my early 20s. And uh, so they were sponsoring me and the manager, his name was Russ Okawa. And he uh, called me one day and he said, hey, are you interested in being a stunt double in this movie? It's going to be in Canada and you're the perfect size for the actor. There's two twins and we want you and Robbie Roop to basically be uh, the stunt doubles for those two writers. And I'm like, absolutely. He's like, yeah, well, we got to go. It's going to be up in Canada. Um, and so uh, we, uh, we ended up going up there and I got to ride as myself, riding for Bingham's Schwinn. Um, at the time I had a Bingham's jersey on and I got to be on the top of Hell Track. So I have uh, one of the posters from Hell Track here. So um, I got to basically stand on top of this ramp and ride this ramp at the time. It was one of the, uh, one of the first 18 foot, I think ramps that was built you know, we're at a really, really steep angle. So we came across it and had to drop in. <laughs> and they built this cor they built this course that was really crazy. They had a cereal bowl and wood ramps around the corners. And uh, so anyway, I got to go up there and ride as the stunt double as Rex number 10, the twin, and then riding a little bit in there as myself as well. But um, it was a great experience, you know, being with all of these great riders um, from the, the BMX professions. Most of the BMX guys in the movie were professional BMX racers at that time. So I had raced against them down in Arizona and in California, Grass Valley, and there was a bunch of national races around. So I had raced against a lot of these guys. So it was really cool to get to, to, get to know them more on a personal level and to go up to Canada to film this movie. So that was uh, a little bit about, um, about that trip. But when we got up there and we started filming, it snowed. <laughs> and so we had uh, flamethrowers and we were trying to melt the snow. We had a helicopter hovering over the course and flamethrowers and we we're trying to melt the snow. And the track was basically unrideable, but the sun came out just like in Salt Lake. The sun came out, started to melt the snow. We canceled the filming for uh, one day. And the next day, we basically came out and filmed the race. But in all of the double jumps, we had to put wood because everything was so soupy and so soft. You couldn't ride through the wood. So we had wood down in there. Oh, my goodness. But, but it, it was a lot of fun. So. Probably one of the coolest stunts that I got to do though, they gave me an extra 300 bucks to do this, but I got to go fly off of this jump and uh, hit Crew's friend in the woods. So I was going down and I'm following him and I basically go off this jump and I hit him with my rear wheel. <laughs> um, and uh, they, they're like, Why don't, do you guys wanna practice this? And I'm like, no, I don't think we should practice it. Let's just film it. And so, we basically filmed it and very luckily we, we ended up getting the take. The first time I tagged the guy in the shoulder with my rear wheel, he crashes <laughs> in, in the trees and stuff. And we, we ended up getting the take on that, but that was uh, one of the coolest stunts that I got to do during that race. 